biotechnology and agriculture are very common in the U.S. today. And how biotechnology works is we can take a gene from one organism, for example, a bacteria, and we can take a gene from that bacteria and splice it into another organism, like a potato. And so a bacteria that's able to produce a toxin, we can take that gene to produce a toxin and put it in a potato so that when insects try to eat the potato, they're killed by the toxin. And that's just a basic rundown of what biotechnology is and how it can be used. And so there are a number of benefits and risks associated with biotechnology and agriculture. I just want to highlight a couple of those. Uh, benefits. Biotechnology uh, can make pest control and weed management a lot easier. Pest control and weed management. Also, we can develop crops that are resistant to disease. So, if there is a disease in the wild that threatens, uh, let's say, corn plants, we might be able to find a gene that will make them resistant to that disease, and in that case, we can save corn from the disease. Uh, biotechnology can also increase crop quality and quantity. Increase crop, crop quantity and quality. Quality. All right, some potential risks associated with biotechnology and agriculture. Uh, we are worried that at some point some of the traits that we give crops might be passed to wild relatives. So traits could be passed to wild relatives. And those relatives would maybe get a resistance to pests or a resistance to uh, herbicide and it might make them grow rampant and and you know that's a risk that we that we face with biotechnology and agriculture um, also we want to make sure that the biotechnology uh, crops that we're using are don't harm any beneficial insects like like bees so they don't harm any organisms So, for example, you know, that potato that, um, that potato that produces a toxin, if that toxin also were to harm other organisms, then that would be a risk associated with using Bt uh, potatoes. Also, we want to make sure that biotechnology foods grown in the agricultural industry um, don't produce allergic responses. Allergic response. And so, for example, if when you alter the genes of a crop, it produces proteins, and those proteins cause allergies in people, then th that would be a crop that we would avoid using. And so those, those are some general risks and benefits associated with biotechnology and agriculture.